In comparison to last year, Hull City only have four players remaining from the starting 11 and only five of the 18 in total, which beat Preston by four goals to one. Matt Ingram remains in goal as one of the quartet, and the rest are Louis Coyle, Alfie Jones and Jacob Greaves. Completely different midfield and forward line for Hull City. Tobias Figueredo and Aliar Sayed Manesh complete a back five for the Tigers. It's the second game in a row for Aliar in that position after making his first ever appearance in that position in his career. The same midfield three of Regan Slater, John Michael Seri and Ozan Tufan. And then up front, one change. Tyler Smith picking up an injury. So Benjamin Tete goes up front alongside Oscar Stupinen. The bench for the Tigers is David Robson, Callum Elder, Andy Cannon, who's the only other remaining player from that starting team against Preston. Sean McLaughlin, Malik Wilkes back in, as well as Randell Williams. Only six minutes of football between them under Schurter Avalazzi. And Vaughan Cavill hoping to make some minutes again from the bench. Preston nil, Hull City nil, as Greaves collects. And again, in the side, continuing on his fine form and fine run of games without being dropped. 88 games in total so far in the league. But neither side, after four minutes, finding a big footing. They might now, though, because a shot comes in from Reese. Preston went direct again. Teed up by Troy Parrott, but Matt Ingram makes a smart save. And before that, neither side had really connected well. But Preston having their first flash at goal. But Ingram very much accustomed to it. Preston trying to sprint out. Tete looking to round his man. He gets... Almost rugby tackled on this right touch line. He was contesting it with Tete. Jeremy Simpson gives a free kick. Linesman was bang in front of those shenanigans. But the ball wasn't at the feet of Tete, who's now taking up station in the penalty area with five other men in black and amber. Seri's delivery isn't the greatest, but it will run through to Tete, over to the edge of the area on the left-hand side now. He will hoist it in. There's plenty in waiting, and Greaves is one of them. It will go behind for a corner, and the Preston fans behind the goal can't believe the decision. Greaves leapt the tallest and headed it just over the crossbar. But Jeremy Simpson feels somebody in white got a glancing touch too. Hence why he's given the corner kick for Whiteman. Brady will play it in field towards Johnson and Hull City win it back again. I think Ryan Lerm might just start to be getting a little bit anxious and a, a bit annoyed about where Preston are losing the ball as Hull City pass it around smartly. Too fat to Oscar in the penalty area left-hand side. He will take it on from an acute angle and it goes off target this time. But now the Preston fans particularly behind Freddie Woodman's goal, trying to motivate their side because they're now starting to spot the number of times Preston are losing the ball in the midfield areas. And he will be the recipient as he manages to move away from Ben Whiteman. Tufan looks into the middle and finds Jacob Greaves, who can then play the ball along the left towards Syed Manesh. Slater inside and waiting. Syed Manesh, though, now dragging the ball in himself. Two fans waiting on the edge of the area. Two fans may take the ball off him. Side Manesh still going. Ball pops to Coyle. Coyle will take it on with a curving right-footed shot from 25 yards. But again, same scenario as last time. He was a little bit closer, but it was still over the top of the bar. And it remains nil-nil here at Deep Dale. More encouraging signs, though, especially in the last 10 minutes for Hull City. Seri to Figueredo. A bit of a hit and hope from him as Preston win it again in midfield. The ball cannons off Jeremy Simpson in the centre circle. That will mean a stoppage of play. That will mean a drop ball as well, which certainly didn't work to Preston's advantage because they were looking for a direct approach. But that hasn't stopped them in their tracks as they come forward from the resulting drop ball. Alfie Jones miscues and it will be gathered again by Parrott, heads out of the penalty area. Hull City have enough ready and waiting, not a lot of movement inside the box as it's wide with Brady. Hull City need to be alert here, shot from the edge, oh hits the post as it took a deflection on the way through. Ingram was beaten if it had been on target. That's got the Preston crowd roaring. 
taking it on from a long, long way out. And it rattles the frame of the goal. Matt Ingram. Managing to go another half without conceding a goal on his travels. And he will send the ball soaring away. Benjamin Tete sort of struggling to the ground and then I think just took a boot as he went down. Preston coming forward down the middle with Johnson. He's got a man to his left. Big chance coming for Preston with Troy Parrott. Tries to play it across. Ingram pushes it away. Then there's an appeal for handball from the Bill Shankly cop. Unlistened to by the referee. Johnson crosses it to the edge of the area. And Ben Whiteman goes a bit wild with his volley. The ball is sent into the stand behind Ingram's goal. But Preston have come out fighting in the first four minutes. They've had a couple of chances. But it remains nil-nil. A good 30 yards back. Two fan over it. And Seri. Tufan is going to leave it for Seri to deliver. Right-footed, not the best, but the Preston defence have aided Hull City. It stays in the area. Jones looks to flick it on. That'll be headed away by Brady. Comes out to Slater. Slater takes it on, and he caught it sweetly enough. But that's a pretty smart save into Freddie Woodman. We'll have seen it a little later because of the traffic in front of him, but that's the first time he's really been called upon. And Regan Slater... Fancying his chances this time. And do you get the impression it's going to take a long-range effort to break the deadlock? Both teams need to work it into smarter areas. And on the edge of the area, Preston have a chance. Big save from Matt Ingram. And this time it was Troy Parrott taking it on 25 yards out. The shackles are off both teams at the start of this second half. They're hitting it from anywhere in searching a breakthrough goal and the on loan striker from Spurs was the next to test Matt Ingram who pushes it away again as Hull City will put Woodman under pressure with Kerrville this time leading the charge he clears the ball away Callum Elder goes up for a header on the halfway line the loose ball finds Brady who's moved over to the right hand side down the line it goes to Reese. near the corner flag he will he stood up here by Greaves. He drops the ball back to Brady. Brady, left-footed, in-swinger. Nice-looking delivery. And surely Preston will score. They don't. Brown charged in. Ingram was brave. Jones was across as well. But Matt Ingram has come off the worse. And as the ball broke loose at the far post, it almost looked a certainty that Preston would score. But courageous... Defending from Hull City. Seri in the centre circle. That's a well-timed challenge from North End. And Emel Reese is down the middle. Brown to his right-hand side. They exchange passes. Reese shoots wide. Too strong a shot. Should maybe have opted for placement over power. Ryan Lowe not happy on the touchline. Nice combination between him and... And the regular captain, Brown, but it's fizzed off target. Preston gifting Hull City an opportunity in the final third. Are they going to make it count? There's Seri. Will be the recipient from the throw. And he's trying to shield it as much as he can, and he loses out. Seri then tries to slide to Holt Preston on their charge. A ball up to Parrott. This is the biggest moment for Parrott to finish. And Ingram makes a save with his right hand. The most important save by far. Whiteman moving it over now to the left-hand side for Andrew Hughes. Troy Parrott really should have made it 1-0. Preston might still do that story. Edge of the area, 30 yards out in the centre. Scuttling over to the right-hand side as Vaughan Cavill will keep him on his side that he wants him to be. Cavill staying goal side and keeping track of story as Preston continue to have possession. 
with Whiteman and Whiteman moving it over to Hughes again into Alvaro Fernandez. A little touch in the centre. Preston will take it on from range. Wide of the target it goes. Emel Reese shooting to the left hand side. Ryan Lowe getting animated in the dugout. Trying to get the crowd going as well. As the body language now starts to shift. And Hull City are certainly in no rush to take this free kick. Maybe they've got one chance to get the ball forward because we've played nearly six minutes of stoppage time. Matt Ingram sending the ball forward. It's up towards the corner flag. Callum Elder flicks it on down that line. And there we go. That is the full-time whistle. So it wasn't an attacking demolition job today by Hull City like last year. Preston North End have been held by Hull City. Finishes nil-nil here at Deepdale. But Preston, 62% of the ball, 20 shots in all. And they just could not find the back of the net. Did they become predictable? Maybe so. Hull City were happy to put men behind the ball in the last 10 minutes and Preston North End were happy to keep launching the ball into the penalty area but Hull City read the play in the end and they were very happy with one point. It has finished as it started. No goals. Preston nil. Hull City nil.